Captain Robbie with the Elizabeth II at Roanoke Island Festival Park with another knot for another video. The next knot I'm going to look at is the square knot and that's what you would call it on land with the Boy Scouts. If you're on a ship it's going to be a reef knot but it's the same knot and a reef knot is often used for tying sails to the wooden yards or wooden beams that the sails hang from on a ship or a boat. So the reef knot uh, again, I've got my trusty half white, half blue rope for showing this. So the reef knot, you're going to take the two bitter ends, because this is going to be two lines tied together or the two ends of one line tied together uh, to wrap around and tie a sail to the ship. I'm going to start with my left on top of my right and just flip it under like I'm starting my shoes to tie my shoes. Then I'm going to switch and do right over left. As long as you switch it, you can go left over right, then right over left, or reverse that. As long as it's switched each time, the way you know you've got your square knot or your reef knot correct is the two ends on each side come out nice and clean, straight alongside each other, nice and straight. Uh, good looking knot, and it's easy to keep low profile so you don't have things catching on other lines or sails or canvas catching the knot. I do want to show you what it looks like if you did it wrong. So if I do left on top of right, and then I repeat left on top of right again, you'll know it came out wrong. See my ends are not coming out nice and straight and parallel with each other. These are going to hang up on other lines. And if I pull on this knot real tight for a long time, I won't be able to untie it. I'll have to cut it with my knife, then I lose some of my rope which in the 16th century was expensive and hard to make and you didn't want to cut it and lose it so this knot will bind up and not untie very easily so that's a good example of the square knot on land reef knot on ships